Think this, not that. There are two modes in your brain. There's autopilot and the things that you default to, and then there is your ability to deliberately choose what you are going to think about. And when you start to realize and embrace the fact that being a deliberate thinker is a skill, and it is one that I want you to master, and it's one that I want you to practice. Because doing a mindset reset, it's not an event. It's a process, and it's a process that you're going to do over and over and over again. Because the negative and limiting beliefs that you have that are already set to your default, those are encoded in the default network in your brain. And so it's going to be a process that you need to repeat. The second you catch yourself thinking something that is negative or is a limiting belief or is something that was stuck in your mind from somebody in your past, the second you catch yourself defaulting to that, whoop, five, four, three, two, one, you're going to switch gears and you are going to think about something deliberate. And so yesterday, your assignment was to notice all day long, notice all day long when your mind was drifting to those default negative thoughts. And what I wanted you to do is I wanted you to write down what are the default negative thoughts that you had throughout your day. And many of you were startled to discover just how often you're thinking really nasty things about yourself. You were bummed and a little bit sad to realize, holy cow, I can't believe how often I tell myself I'm not good enough. I can't believe how often I tell myself that my ideas aren't good and I shut myself up. And there were just as many of you that were liberated when you started to realize, wait a minute, this isn't the voice of God talking to me. This is some programming that's set on default. I don't have to live my life and I don't have to have a future where I constantly say things that are negative to myself. This is the most miraculous thing that I've ever heard. And so what I want you to do in the comments is I want you to write what was the limiting belief or the negative thing that kept coming up because there were a lot of themes Christine Nichols said that her limiting belief is that she believes she's a quitter. She believes she can't finish anything. And she started to see it, examples of it over and over and over again. And what she also started to realize is, holy cow, it's a lie. There's lots of things that I've finished in my life, but if I continue to have the limiting belief that I'm a quitter, if I look out to the future, I will have, I will be giving myself permission to not go for harder things. I will give myself permission to quit. A lot of the common beliefs that we heard was that I'm too old. How many of you feel like you're too old to get the things that you want in your life? That is super common. Um, so if you think I'm too old to do this, if you think I've run out of time, if you think who am I at the age that I am or as young as I am to think that I could do this thing, first of all, you're wrong. And secondly, that's a limiting belief that is stopping you. It's a default mode that we need to get you out of huge one for you all was, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough when it comes to other people. I'm not as good as other people. And let me tell you something, this is an epidemic feeling like you're not good enough because way too many of us spend our days comparing our imperfect lives to perfect strangers on the internet. And so the feeling like you're not good enough, you're not measuring up, that there's some sort of imaginary race that you're running against the rest of humanity and that by now at this point in your life, you're supposed to be at a certain place. And how do you know that? Because every time you look on social media, there are hundreds of people in your face that seem to be at the place that you thought you would be. And so that just reinforces it. And oh my God, the default network is getting stronger. If that's how you feel, you're not alone. That was the single biggest one that we noticed in all of your comments from all over the world, I am not good enough. And we heard loud and clear that you got it from your mom or you got it from your dad or you got it from some horrible person that you were in a relationship with. And the problem is you started to believe it and it got encoded in the default network. So now that you've seen it, good job. You can't get rid of the default until you actually spot it. And now that you've seen it, I want you to realize for the rest of your life, for the rest of your life, you have a job. And your job is to make sure that when that default network kicks back up and you start to murmur that you're too old, 
you're not smart enough, you're not good enough, that is a moment where you have got to do a mindset reset. And the way that you're going to do it, because you're learning that there's two modes of your brain, the default, I'm not good enough, and the deliberate, oh yeah, I can try, is we're gonna teach you that you can think this, not that. That whenever this default mode comes up of I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not enough, whatever enough is, that you can spot it as the default and you can get deliberate and you can say something different. And the way that you, the way that you reprogram your default mode of thinking so that the default becomes positive and the default becomes courageous and the default becomes loving is first you catch the negative default and second, you direct it to something deliberate. So instead of thinking, no one likes me, this is mine because I think I'm a bad person. No one likes me. What I want you to think instead is the right people love me. That's pretty powerful. That's really powerful for me. I constantly remind myself that the right people love me, that the right people are in my life. Instead of saying, oh, nobody likes me or I'm not part of that group, I remind myself that the right people the people I need, they're the ones that are in my life right now. If you're somebody who says, I'm too old, I'm too old, here's what I want you to say, I have plenty of time. Or you could say, I have so much experience, I'm definitely gonna succeed. If you say, I'm too young, then say anything you want from, I have plenty of time to learn what I need to learn, to, a, to being young is an advantage, to whatever it is. The point that I'm trying to make is, if your default is negative, I don't want you to think that. I want you to catch it when you do, and then I want you to think this, something positive.